Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve a react interview question. The question is based on a phenomenon in react that is called as race condition. Basically what happens is, let's say if you are making multiple API calls. Now you have made first API call, second and third. Now the order in which that API call will resolve is not sure. So on the UI, you see that the first API call resolves at the last and you see the first API calls data at the end even if you have made the API call for the third time. So this inconsistency in data uh, uh, being rendered on the screen and uh, the way the API calls resolve is called as race condition. Now we have to handle this condition. So this is uh, what the question is. You will be given a scenario where the race condition is being happening and you have to handle that. Now on the screen, if you see in the code, we have an input box. That input box uh, has an on change event uh, that handles when we type something and then there is a state that holds the value of the component. So it is a control component. What happens on on change is we get the value from this search box and then we update the state. So it makes the component controlled. After that, we have this function called get random data. What get random data does is it mimics an API call. Basically, get random data will take the same value that we have in the text, and this value will be returned to us. So there is a API call, uh, sorry, a promise that will be resolved after a random time. It will take the same data and it will resolve the new promise with the same data or the text that we have typed in the input box, but after some delay, mimicking that. Uh, an API event has been fired. Now, the time at which it will resolve is randomly decided. So we are not sure when the API call will be resolved. If you see, if I type something, you see I type multiple times. So I have typed multiple words, but see, the APIs are being resolved randomly. So even if the event has been completed, you see the data is being rendered in the order the API calls get completed. So we have a glitch over here. Now, if I keep on typing, see, there are multiple calls being happening and it is keep on glitching the UI. Now, many times what happens is because we are given this scenario and people see input box, what they do is the first approach they follow is using a debounce event. Now, the debounce event definitely works in case of the input box. But the problem here is not uh, regarding the search call that we are going to make. It is regarding handling the race condition. Now, this scenario is given to mimic the race condition. But actually what happens is, let's say we don't have this input box. This component re receives a property ID, uh, let's say a user ID. So you have a list of users and then there is a component that receives the user ID on which it shows the user detail. Now, there is a two section layout. So once I click on um, the user profile, uh, its detail will be displayed on the right hand side. So two column layout we have. Now if you are keep, keep on clicking on multiple uh, users uh, right from top to bottom and every time the property will be updated and the component will make a fresh API call with the updated um, uh, user ID. So in that case also the race condition will be happening because the component will keep on making the API call as and when the new or uh, updated uh, user ID it receives. But uh, when the API call will resolve randomly, you will see that for different user, we are getting different user detail. So that will, uh, that can also happen. So debouncing is not a solution for this. What we can do over here is we can make use of two things. One is if you are making an API call, there is a new uh, web uh, API called abort controller that you can use to cancel the API call. So uh, you can read more about the abort controller in the article that ha have for this race condition. I'll add the link of the article in the description. And the second is handling this race condition in use effect method with a flag. So let's see how we can handle this. Here I'll create a use effect hook. So rather than the on change event, when um, something changes in the text box, we are making an API call. 
what i'll do is i'll get this api call and i'll make this under the use effect hook now in the use effect hook i'll pass the value of this input box as a dependency which is search text and this search text will be used to make the api call now here as you are aware use effect hook is invoked three times one is when the component is mounted second is when component is about to unmount and the third is um, when the value of the dependency changes so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to create a flag now this flag it will have the value true now in this what i'll do is i'll add a condition in the api call so i'll make sure that if the flag is true that means our current component is in scope it is not you know it is not unmounted then only update the state so that once the state is updated its value will be visible on the ui or it will be rendered otherwise if the component is about to unmount what we'll do is will update the state and will set it as false so what it will do is let's say the value of the search text changes so if the value of search text changes the component will re-render and in that case this unmount function will be invoked so we set the flag as false so even if the api call completes because the flag is false it will not update the state and thus we won't see the value of that api call that is being happening in the behind which is not related to the updated value that we have in the text box it won't be rendered on the screen so now if i run the application again and you will see if i type anything sorry it was not working because we have to return the function while unmount so i haven't returned that that's why it was not working properly so now i added return statement over here and if i run this again you will see that it fixes the issue so if i type anything we get the final result there is no in between so all the api call that has been made in between its data won't be visible on the ui see it shows the final result nothing else and because it is being randomly updating the state and the api is resolving randomly the function that's why you see that some apis some rendering happens fast some rendering happens slow but there is no in between so as we are typing there is no glitch the apis are not resolving randomly and the ui is being updated with the previous or later data so that's how using a flag you can fix this race condition i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time